Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the cone stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a fairly fun stitch to work. It has an interesting texture to it and it is worked by making these cone stitches that are interspersed between rows of single crochet stitches. It's similar on the back as it is to the front. So I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a project. You can write that down in the comments below and also of course don't forget to say hello. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, today for this tutorial I'm going to use a little bit of a worsted medium weight cotton. This is Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you will find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started learning how to crochet the cone stitch. Now this stitch is very versatile and it can be worked using any multiple of chains and then just add one for your turning chain. Today I'm going to start by simply chaining 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working row one and working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're simply going to single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of cone stitches. We're going to start working our very first one into our first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. To work the cone stitch, you're going to begin by yarning over, insert your hook into the next stitch or into our first stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over Bring your hook in front and this time you're going to insert your hook under the stitch that you just worked in. So under that first stitch of the previous row into the top of the stitch two rows below, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. That is your cone stitch. You're going to work these stitches all the way across. For our second cone stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook under that next stitch, so into the stitch, two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all five loops. Repeat that all the way across. This is what your work will look like at the end of row three. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work 
three rows of single crochet stitches. So rows four, five, and six, single crochet into the first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row, chain one and turn and work another row of single crochet stitches. So go ahead for rows four, five, and six, work a row of single crochet stitches, one single crochet in each stitch all the way across.